YouTube family, the Maverick in the space again. Best and most credible opinion, you know. Still fear and fearless analysis. Something upon my mind, it has hurt me. And I'm going to build up and tell you what I'm talking about. This case with the young American prodigy, you can call him. The youngster will run 200. Orion Knighton, you know about the case. When he test positive for a banned substance, I think he test positive from about March earlier this year. And of course, he got through the process. You saw the United States drug, the equivalent of Jadko. They had the hearing, and I'm going in front of them and make him case. And you saw that, let him go. Scotch free. He never spent a year. He never spent a week. He never spent a day suspended. No fault violation. That I would them call, you know, that, and that cover the circumstances under which them let them set him free. So he made the case, me understand, so he made the case, say, the substance that they found in his body came from his consumption of some kind of meat, me say, an oxtail. See? So he made the case, say, the illegal substance got into his system that way, and you saw that set him free. Now, right away, you know, where my mind go. Because this is one of my old hobby horse, you know. Me have to ask the question. If it was one of our Jamaican athletes, prominent Jamaican athletes, not one of them prominent young rising stars, you know. If it was a Jamaican athlete, test positive for an illegal substance, and come in front of Jadko and tell them, see, an ox tail or pork chops or pig chatters, him eat and a substance they get in anybody. You think Jadko and them disciplinary panel would have accept that and set him free? <laughs> would have chop him up and dash him away? Would have dash him away for life? I saw we don't do our athlete, you know. I remember me always I tell you, say, this hypo is not hypocrisy. It's a self-righteous thing we have about yourself in Jamaica. Remember my position already, you know. Me not, me not abandon my athlete them. Make WADA and the other international agency come ban them. Because the other country them not doing them. And this is an example of what we are talking about. You remember earlier from the USA named Dan Harper. Dan Harper had an adverse analytical finding, you know. And you know when the world hear about it, when she don't serve her three month ban. Three month ban. Look how our anti-doping body deal with our people in Jamaica. We set out to kill them. Look what them do with the cricketer with name John Campbell. Look what them do with John Campbell. The man in the twilight of career and them carry and them ban the man for four years. Maximum, I pay maximum we go for you. We go for the kill for our athlete them. <laughs> see? Why we see time after time after time again. Big super house. Big powerhouse America, big powerhouse Russia, big powerhouse all over the world. When for them athletes, them do them thing, them just hush hush it and let them go. So we feel like we are the most moralistic and righteous people in the world. So we have an obligation to kill our people. Them. And that's how we do. It does something. Here. And a night in case, just reignite the passion and the anger when we feel about that something. Here. Yeah, man. Remember, you know, when I was on the radio program, on my, on my TV show, me do, you know, and anytime them something come up, I always highlight them and discuss them. So why do we have to be so extreme? When we, when we, when we, we hey, we do them, we do them test our athlete them positive finish them, you know. We just want to go them here and go knock one day and them do that. Look what them, them do with Christopher Taylor. Look what them do with John Campbell. You remember what them do with Andre Russell? And the list goes on and on and on and on and on, you know. None of them people in name when I call a while ago. You know. None of them people in not test positive in no banned substance. They always hold them on some technicality. When I say technicality, you mean some weird about violation. I remember Rusty gone up and play um, T20 cricket all over the world and them couldn't find him in Jamaica. So they applied to ban him. Rusty have spent millions of dollars. If you take a piece of the time, they want to give you. Know. Christopher Taylor, you, you remember film circumstance. The drug tester tell him, say, all right, go on for the play, everything good. Bam, it come back, bam. 
That's him we again. Eh? Why we have to kill our people? While the rich and more established nations them build for them people and protect for them people and defend for them people. Why are we so self-righteous in Jamaica? And cruel to our own. And we are like the literal crabs in the barrel. I never even know about this no fault violation till the incident that takes place. You know? When me hear about it the other day, Mr. Wendy so. Because the narrative that we were fed, you know, is that whatever is in your body, no matter how it got there, you are responsible for it. And that's the narrative you so come from, from our authority, you know. Me never know say, no, no, any class exists where you can look for a man, you know, the evidence presented and the case when presented to you and the defense when put up and say, all right, we believe you. Go on. Why our... Why, why Jadko can't believe nobody has set them free? Why do not believe more people have set them free? I can't, I, I can't even remember the last Jamaican where them test positive and find performance enhancing drugs in a demo. I can't even remember them. I must say Steve Mullins. The rest of people they them try all and dash right? and mash up them career and stop them food and some people pass some te technicality. Them go out one place and see them and call to them and the people, they no call to them. So them say, oh, we are about violation. Man, then I'm here that sleep and hug up him woman in the early morning. Probably have little sex and all them something. You knock on the man window. Man, barely awake. Man, say, me and my woman hug up and knock me up for. Oh, we are about violation. No, failure to, to provide a sample, whatever. And them something that we hold and kill our people them for. See a man test positive, you know. See, with a bad substance in our system. And then tell him, say, ox tail and pork chops him now. And you saw that set him free. Only do I call Louis test positive for drugs when my run and win them all for Olympic games. Eh? They all for Olympic medals, sorry. Only they know that. What the US Santin Open Agency did do? Only you say, call Louis, fail no drug test and get banned yet. <laughs> we are the most self righteous. Set a hypocrite in the world. Yeah. We are a set of crabs in the barrel. We pander to people. We pander to foreign nations. We pander to people with funny accent. We pander to people with pale face. Because we want to look good in them eyes. We have a tourist culture. That's why tourism is so well in Jamaica. You know? Because we love serve white people. We look after them and say, make sure they're okay. You don't upset them. Make sure they're okay. That's the culture where we come up in. We don't think ruthless. We don't think national. We don't think unity. We're divided. We're divided by a lot of things. We're divided by a lot of, a lot of, a lot of elements divide us as a nation. So that kind of oneness there. And have your back kind of mentality. We don't have it, man. We don't have it. So we out upon a limb and crucify and assure the world so we have the most churches per square mile in the world. So pound for pound, we have more righteousness than anybody else. While the people that we are compete with are do the rational, common sense thing and are protect for them all. Eh? They are protect for them people and a bill for them people. We are bad mind for we people and a kill for we people. Maverick, step in. Step already.